Imagine trying to spot a tiny flashlight right next to a burning stadium projector. That's what astronomers face when they search for companion stars around red giants. Gigantic, bright, turbulent stars in the late stages of their evolution. But for the first time ever, scientists have actually seen a close companion orbiting an aging giant star. And the discovery may rewrite our understanding of how stars die. The star in question is Pi Gruis, located about 530 light years away. It used to be a sun-like star, but now it's a red giant, about 400 times larger than the sun and 7,000 times brighter. Its powerful stellar winds blast gas and dust into space, creating chaotic surroundings that make detecting nearby objects almost impossible. Enter Alma, one of the most sensitive radio telescope arrays on Earth. Using Alma, astronomers finally spotted a hidden neighbor, a companion star called Pi Gruis. See, orbiting who's 6.8 astronomical units away. That's roughly the distance between the Sun and Jupiter. Even more impressive, they tracked its movement over several years, confirming an orbit of about 11.7 Earth years. The companion even has its own accretion disk, a swirling ring of gas pulled in from the giant star. What kind of star is it? It might be a yellow-white F-type star, or a massive white dwarf. Future Hubble observations will reveal the truth. But here's the real mystery. Its orbit is almost perfectly circular. That completely contradicts computer simulations, which predict stretched, elliptical orbits for stars this close to a giant. No current model can fully explain it. This discovery is more than just a cool image. It is the first direct observation of such a companion around a giant on the asymptotic giant branch, and it means our models of late stellar evolution may need a major update. The death of stars just got a lot more complicated and a lot more interesting.